What's going on guys? So I don't really have an agenda for today. I've got a couple of things I need to take care of. So it's going to be kind of a freestyle day. Try to get the wagon prepped up for the season. So, you know, the normal stuff. Let's get to it guys. So project number one. I got this a couple weeks ago. It's kind of neat. I got it from Summit Racing. I rubbed a hole in my windshield washer reservoir. Well, I found a uh, universal kit that actually has the same plug and all that stuff like uh, my wagon uses. So I'm going to install this right quick. I think I'm going to install it right about here. Kind of bolt it up. It's going to be really inconvenient to, to refill. I'm not really too worried about it being right there. It's far enough to where it won't rub on the tire. It's tucked up in there nice. You can see what I did here. I had this extra fender bolt. And there's a uh, threaded hole right there. And I know a lot of people would, would say, would argue that, do you really need windshield washer fluid? And when you're off-road and you're in mud and you got shit all over your windshield, dirt, grime, you're gonna love to have this. <laughs> you're gonna feel like that 40 bucks is well spent. Close enough. I think the head on that one's a little stopped up. I may buy a new one of those, but it sprays on the windshield. I can wipe, eh, it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, rear end one wheel lift, kind of see where it tucks in, see if there's anything I need to cut back there. Just kind of messing around just for my own information. Just, I know I'm gonna need to trim some more off the back end cause I really hadn't done much on the back, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it right quick. So I'm pretty impressed with the uh, flex I've got going on, even with the little bit of lift I've got going on now. You can see where I trimmed the fenders, and they're not touching. You got plenty of wheel gap there. I may, at full tilt, I may be rubbing a little bit at the very top, but all around the wheel looks pretty good. And wheel gap for days there. You can see where it's coming in contact now. And just rub it in there at full flex there. A little bit of contact there on the that little bit of bumper lip. And I can trim out. Looks like that metal there that I trimmed is getting out of the way though. Because that's maximum flex. That's all the way up as far as it'll go without lifting the front tire. The front tire is still on the ground there planted. Just just enough. That's pretty impressive though. I'm, I'm, it got a lot higher than I thought it was going to do. So uh, when I put the fender flares on, I kind of decided I wanted to try out some wheel spacers. I was gonna try some, so I bought the quality ones. I got these, these the H&R uh, hub centric, better designed than most. You know, they're, they're made to sit on there right in the center of the hub. These are uh, 25 mil, so they're just about an inch. If these work out, then I'll buy two more. I just bought the pair of them right quick, just so I can kind of mess with it. One thing I noticed immediately was the gap between here, the uh, upper control arm, that ball joint, and the wheel. I mean, I can put my hand in there now. I love the way that looks down in there too. Let's see if you can see the uh, ball joint gap on this side too. Yeah, you see the ball joint there. I, I mean, I cannot get my finger even in between the two. Oh yeah, that gap's much better than it was. I actually had to clearance that out because it was rubbing on that. That's fairly ugly right there where there's a big gap of nothingness. That's my fault though. That's in my video where I was mobbing the wagon and I pocket knife cut all this. I got a little extreme because, well, it was digging into the tire and pulling up. So yeah, that didn't look all that great. Where I didn't pocket knife cut it, it fits up pretty decently. It's got a good line that follows up. So I've got one good professional side and one, uh, one not so professional side, but anyway, 
I mean, the snorkel makes up for the non-professional side, right? Yeah, snorkel. Don't don't look at right there. Hooray, snorkel, America. So as a little follow-up to my last video with the snorkel install, I'll show you the uh, the parts that I got for it. So I'll go ahead and pipe it all up, and I'll do a little sound clip because it sounds awesome with the snorkel on. So yeah, the uh, snorkel sounds pretty rad with the ZC motor on there. It it just gives it such a throaty, loud, rawr sound. I love it. But yeah, that'll be my mobbing mode. Like it'll be how I set it up when I actually you know expect to go through deep water and whatnot. And like you saw, all it takes is one flathead screwdriver and a few minutes to swap it around. So it's not that hard of a deal. So as far as wagon work, that's kind of it for today. A couple big things on the plate that I want to get done next week and get ready for next week. I ordered the rest of the parts I need to put the new radiator in. I got the VW radiator I want to install. It's coming from China. It just shipped yesterday, so it could be a week from now. It could be two weeks. It could be a month from now. I'm going to do a whole write-up on building a skid plate for the wagon because I, I need to have a skid plate on this next. Preventative stuff like snorkel, skid plate. I'll go ahead and order those wheel spacers for the back too, so I can get those taken care of. I'm gonna do some preventative maintenance on the element. I gotta change the oil. I'm gonna change the uh, serpentine belt and one of the pulleys too while I'm at it. And uh, yeah, get that taken care of right quick. Well, it's the next day, guys. I got the uh, serpentine belt changed, the uh, idler pulley changed, and the oil changed. The element in its old age is getting really cranky, like. Everything I do to it just takes way mo too long. Like, like I said, only the idler pulley, the serpentine belt, and the oil change took me like six freaking hours. The uh, oil filter got stuck. I lost the uh, the captive nut for the back of the idler pulley. It was just a mess. Like, oh, but it's all done now. The element's happy. So I went ahead and ordered the uh, 30 millimeter uh, wheel spacers for the rear. They'll be in. It said next Friday, so we'll see. If it's in next Friday, it'll be in next week's video. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week. Like I said, the element beat, beat me up pretty bad yesterday. So I'm tired. I got to go to the store, get stuff ready for the week. So until next time, guys, peace.